Hey Siri, what is the right amount of water for 15 grams of coffee? Okay, I found this on the web. Hey ChatGPT, what's the right amount of water for 15 grams of coffee? The right amount of water for 15 grams of coffee is typically around 250 milliliters, which maintains a common coffee to water ratio of one to 16. I love this how easy my life has become. Okay. Siri was always a little bit of a sucker, but apparently that all changes with Apple intelligence coming to our phones later in the year. If all it takes are technical skills to excel in today's job market, career, or even in life, what chance do we stand as humans? Turns out, quite a good one. Here are three non-technical skills that you can hone to excel and thrive in this new machine-driven era. Albert Einstein once said, The important thing is to never stop questioning. Look, news articles, social media, blogs, each with its own perspective and bias. Critical thinking helps you sift through this information and separate credible sources from the useless or often simply false ones. Critical thinking is also important in problem solving. Well, I tried that with ChatGPT. It's great breaking down problems and putting out the pros and the cons, but it's less good when critically thinking about what the right course of action is. Because when you are faced with a challenge, you don't just accept the first solution that comes to your mind, right? You think about different options and possibilities and start to think about the long-term implications of each of those. Remember, if you are incorporating critical thinking into your daily routines, you will master this AI era with clarity and confidence. One of the trends this year and in the future is the rise of the one-man enterprise. I've already talked about it in a different video, so if you're interested in that, you can watch it after this video, link in the description. But why is leadership important? Today, you have the power to build almost any business on your own. I'm not saying you should do it all by yourself, but it's incredible to know that you can. To be truly productive, you need to understand the why behind your actions. What drives you? What are your ultimate goals? What are the steps that you prioritize to get there? This isn't about some sort of strategy. This is the essence of leadership. Embrace the tools and advancements at your disposal, but Always, always lead with your vision. Determine your path, set your priorities, and let AI be the assistant that amplifies your potential. Remember, it's not about what AI can do, but what you can achieve with AI by your side. And the third skill you need to keep honing is that of resilience. Think about a time when you faced a setback. Maybe it was a project that didn't go as planned or a goal you just missed by a hair. AI can persist and apologize, but often it doesn't fully grasp that deeper issue. Ah, you f I can't f my computer. You, on the other hand, have something truly powerful, resilience. Your ability to recover from setbacks, reflect on what went wrong and question your assumptions is uniquely human. You don't just persist, you adapt and learn. This critical self-reflection, this ability to look inwards and grow from our experiences is what sets us apart. It allows you to deal with future challenges more effectively, not to only bounce back, but to bounce forward. So what can you do? It's funny because when I worked on this video, I had prepared in my head all the three non-technical skills and why we need to master them. But I wanted to do a little bit more research, maybe try to bring some story into the video as well. So I utilized ChatGPT, or I should say, I tried to utilize ChatGPT because no matter what I put in, I was dissatisfied with every single prompt. And in the end, I packed it in, went home, went for a run and came back the next day with a different plan. And that was, what if I have a plain blank sheet of paper and ask myself some key questions, such as number one, is this the best I can do or am I forgetting something? Or number two, what is the number one outcome that I wish to achieve? Or in this particular case, what is the number one thing that I wish you to take away from this video? And number three, after I failed so miserably yesterday, is there something fundamental that I have to change about myself or the script or the video? So it dawned on to me that this is exactly 
what we can do. Ask ourselves those three critical questions. Is this the best I can do? What's the number one outcome? And do I have to change? Because if you get clarity on those questions, you will master the machine era. Because now suddenly you're utilizing the tools for the purpose they were developed for.